So we have the basic setup here for a manicure and or pedicure. So we'll go through the products at the back. We have, I've set up just one of the products, but we have um, the products for manicure and pedicure. So if you were doing one, you would just set up for one treatment, but often clients come in for both treatments together. Uh, so you would set up for both treatments. So again, like all of the other treatments, you need to make sure that if you're right-handed, your trolley is going to be positioned on your right-hand side. And if you're left-handed, it's going to be positioned on your left-hand side, as close to you as possible. So then that helps with the health and safety. You're not twisting and bending and reaching and leaning. Um, and uh, you've got to think about your positioning all day working and be comfortable and safe. So uh, set up your working area. So the trolley with the products at the back of the trolley and working as you would for the routine. This also helps you to remember the sequence, the routine, because you'll know that if you start from one side, that this is going to be the end of the treatment, and this is the start of the treatment, and, and it'll help you remember the sequence of your routine when you're carrying out your treatment. So we've got some witch hazel, first of all, um, some varnish remover. We have your barbicide, so this is your um, sanitizing product so it's a liquid sanitizer and it's used for storing the metal tools so you'll have already used the autoclave they'll be sterilized you'll place your metal tools in here for use for the for the client that you have um, then you have some hand soak or foot soak cuticle remover uh, cuticle cream then you'd have um, your exfoliator then you would have your hand massage or your foot massage and then starting again from the other side of the trolley you'd have some tissues so tissues are used for collecting debris from the nails also tucking into the client's clothes um, to protect them you've got some orange wood sticks here so you'd use those tipped to help to ease back the skin around the nail wall in the cuticle area on both fingers and toes you have spatulas again for cutting out products or removing products from tubs so we don't use fingers you have files you have a buffer you have a nail brush so this is used after you've used your cuticle remover just to remove the excess cuticle remover because it is an alkaline product and it will if you don't remove it it will carry on um working the chemical will work and it will make the cuticle area really really dry so you need to remove that product we've got um, a hand soak likewise if you're doing a pedicure you'll have a foot bath and this is on stored on the bottom of your trolley um, a foot rasp so this is for use for removing hard skin prior to soaking and after soaking depending on the hard skin that the client has and you also have a mask brush because you can um, give the client a a foot mask as well so a foot mask or a hand mask and that would be accompanied by some heated uh, mitts or you can have heated boots as well so this will help um, the absorption of the, the mask on the hands or feet you also need some towels so we've got a stack of towels on your second shelf so uh, for manicure for pedicure you need to count out your towels and you need some uh, mitts, and this is for removing your exfoliator, either from the hands or feet. If you're doing one treatment, you just need a set. If you're doing manicure and pedicure, you'll need a set for the hands and a set for the feet. And also on your second shelf, you've got your waist bowl lined as well for any of the waist. And you do need a bowl of cotton wool. So we use strip cotton wool. Um, and you also need to use your tissues for threading the toes for varnishing. So at the very end, we've got a selection of varnishing. So we've got a base coat, a top coat, some dark polishes and some French polish there. You will um, speak to your client about the type of varnish that they want at the consultation. Little note, make sure that you open your bottles so that you just make sure before you start your treatment that they do open easily but that then you take put them back on so they're, they're not going to drop off 
because often when you get to the point after you've massaged and your hands are quite greasy, it's really difficult to get the tops off. So make sure you loosen those tops off. And at the end of your treatment, what you would do, because you'll have been using your varnish um, and scraping off the excess on the edge of the bottle, you need to make sure you wipe around that um, bottle neck with nail varnish remover to remove any of the excess and remove any of the excess off the brush and this will make sure that it seals properly and that it doesn't stick and that it doesn't go tacky because it makes a good seal so the oxygen doesn't get into it.